Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation, see what they may be thinking or feeling, how they're viewing you or the situation, um, anything you don't see coming, and we'll pull as much advice as possible from Spirit. Um, I'm just going to ask that my Libras out there, go ahead and hit that like button for me if these messages resonate with you. Um, hitting that like button does so many amazing things for my channel and for this video. And I also just want to extend my gratitude to each and every one of you for all your love and support that you show me on this channel. It really means the world to me. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Libras, please. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups as the overall energy. So this may be somebody that um, has walked away from you or that you've walked away from them, or they may be contemplating walking away from someone or something to come towards you. Um, you may be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. This is what your person is thinking, the moon energy. They're viewing you as the Seven of Wands in reverse. So Libra, I do feel maybe they're a little bit confused or worried that you have or you will push them away. What you don't see coming is the Three of Cups in reverse. And we see the Page of Cups. So some of you guys, you might be getting an apology here. Overall energy, we have the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Okay, so your opposite sign. So Libra, what I'm seeing here is somebody in this connection may not have wanted the responsibility of a relationship. Um, I definitely definitely see there's possibility of a third party situation, which you may not have known about. Um, this person may have walked away from you um, and they may have also been hiding their true feelings or the real reason why. Um, this person is, I do feel this person does want to come in and offer you an apology and maybe clear the air, but they're a little bit worried that you have really strong walls and barriers up. With the Page of Cups here, Libra, I do see that you might be getting an apology or maybe you have the beginning of a new connection, but let's just see. And that can be a new new connection with this person, of course, depending on what has happened between you guys, um, or it can be, um, you know, somebody brand new. So we see the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So you may be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have strong Aries. We also have strong Cancer, Pisces. Um, but I'm also seeing here your person, they may own their own business or they may have a lot of, um, they may get a lot of attention because they make a lot of money, um, or they're just quite popular. They're stable. They seem to have a lot to offer with the two of pentacles. I'm definitely seeing and extending a lot of all my love and positive energy to those of you where this was a situation where they may have been juggling you and somebody else, okay? And again, you may not have known that, but that may be coming out. They could be telling you that. You could be finding that out via, you know, a friend or online. Um, but I definitely see this person portrayed the image of stability, um, growth. Uh, this person may have, you know, projected, you know, long-term commitment with you. Um, but it does seem, see here that seemed to be that this person was, you know, had a decision between you and somebody else. Um, it could also be if there wasn't a third party romantic interest, um, it could be that this person has a lot of responsibilities because the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very driven, somebody who may have their own business. Um, sorry about that helicopter overhead. Um, somebody who may have their own business or they're like a CEO or they're in a managerial position. So they've got a lot of responsibility. So they may have been um, focused more on that than this relationship. So you may have walked away from them. They may have walked away from you. I do see that you have something unexpected coming in from this person, whether it's an, a message or an apology, or maybe just finding out about their true motives and intentions or what they're up to. So with the moon card, your person definitely has deep romantic feelings for you. But I also feel that they, they're a little bit, they have some fears that have come to the surface. Um, maybe a fear of you finding out if they were dealing with somebody else. Maybe a fear that you've moved on or that you'll push them away for good, that you've given up on them or the connection. So they definitely want to come rushing towards you. They've got a lot of passion. For some of you, this person is going to travel towards you or wants to travel towards you to try to heal things or mend things. I'm seeing somebody that may be abroad or I, I don't know. They just have to travel to see you 
and we see the four of swords. They do, I feel your person does want to heal this. I also feel it's possible. Now, again, if somebody has lied and cheated, no good reader is going to recommend Libra that you go back to them or you try to heal the connection. But for a lot of my Libras out there, you know, this, this may not have been a third party situation, but they were trying to find a work life balance. And I feel like they do want to rush in and heal things, but they're a little bit worried about the time that they've kept you waiting or how they left things. Because for some of you, you may not have heard from this person for a while. Now, remember a while means different things to all of us. If we talk to somebody every day and we don't hear from them for two or three days, it can feel like an eternity. For others of you, there was a breakup or a separation. It could be four weeks ago, four months. Um, you know, or, or longer. So they're viewing you as the seven of wands in reverse, focused on your work. Um, they could be really concerned here, Libra, that, that you've met somebody else, that you've moved on. Um, but I also see that this person, they absolutely, your person wants to work things out. They know that they've got to um, put in a lot of effort in order to rebuild this connection or the trust. Yeah, this person knows that they left you out in the cold, but this person feel they they see you as somebody who's very hardworking and very driven. Um, they may be that may be something that you matched in their energy. Like I'm getting an energy. Maybe we've got two workaholics here, <laughs> uh, but that's not going to be for all of you. Um, but I do see that this person is feeling disappointed. They're missing you. They want to heal things. They want to work on things, but they're really really worried about your reaction. Um, the three of cups in reverse tells me that it, there is possible possibility that there was a third party situation um, that you may find out about. Now, it could be that they were just seeing somebody after you guys broke up. So I think they're a little bit worried about you finding out about that. Um, for others of you, they may have chosen somebody else. Um, and, and that's why they moved away or they were juggling. So let's see. We get the eight of wands. So this person is not getting what they want. Um, there's no communication page of wands. Okay. And we get the six of swords. So I'm seeing here, you guys, um, it's definitely possible. Those of you where this was a third party situation, they chose somebody else or they were with somebody else. It doesn't mean that they necessarily cheated. It could be that, you know, maybe you guys were casually dating and, and, you know, they chose to be with somebody else. Um, or you guys broke up, they definitely, there was some sort of third party interference, but what I'm seeing here is, um, that's why they that's why you haven't heard from this person in a while. Remember that third party can also be work. Um, but this person is definitely has definitely lost a lot of confidence. Um, I feel this person has a lot of regret and remorse, Libra, about the way they treated you, um, for allowing you to walk away or making the wrong decision, maybe putting their career or somebody else ahead of you and this connection. For some of you where you know they've been with somebody else, um, that connection has ended. It definitely didn't go the way that they planned. Um, and I just feel like they're, they want to, they want to put, they want to move towards you. They want to heal this connection because whatever it is that they were working on or their other connection or something, it's either it's ended or it didn't turn out the way that they had hoped or they had planned. So again, use your intuition because you don't want somebody rushing towards you. You know, the Knight of Wands can be an energy of somebody who wants to be indulged or they rush towards you because something else isn't working out. You know, in that case, you don't want to, um, yeah, look at this. I'm going to keep these cards. In that case, you know, you don't want to be somebody's option or just, you know, let somebody come back in because they're hurting. You want them to have genuine intentions. I do see that your person does really want to work things out. They've been sad. They've been missing you. But again, hold yourself in high regard. And it, and it really truly depends on what happened here, why or how this connection broke down or what you guys were fighting or arguing about. So we have those two stories going on, but I do see here the death card in reverse Scorpio energy. Um, this person is um, disappointed, saddened, heartbroken. They're going to come in and make you a, a, a love offer, and it feels like very strong reconciliation. The tower card um, in reverse tells me this person has never really truly let you go. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like, like maybe they moved away because of work, and they could have literally put physical distance between you guys. Um, or, um, but I just feel like that didn't work out. Like they're either, they're just like, they're coming back in to make you a love offer. 
Um, so you just, you need to know what their intentions are. And like I said, it depends on what happened because no good reader Libra is going to recommend that you go back to somebody that was abusive or somebody that was cheating on you, you know, or somebody that didn't honor your worth and your value. Okay. So uh, for some of you guys, you know, this was a divine intervention that was helping you sort of avoid disaster, even if it didn't really feel that way, you know, when you guys separated or had this fight or this argument. So spirit's advice for you is balance. Yeah. And that's Libra and energy. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So does this person deregulate your emotions, Libra? Um, does this person throw you off balance? Um, because you want somebody who's going to build you up, somebody who's not going to keep you waiting, somebody who's not going to make you feel like you're not enough. Um, trust is so fundamental to relationships. And if it's not there, you know, that's a, that's a huge sign for you to maybe keep going your separate ways. But if you do trust this person and you do want to work things out, I do see that that's, those are their intentions. Yeah. So I'm seeing here, Libra spirit really wants you to release all negative energy. Um, some of you guys, you may be getting healing and closure from this person. Like it might feel good to know that they miss you, um, you know, that they want to work things out. But again, I feel like spirit's telling you, Libra, to prioritize peace and balance because a lot of you have put in a lot of hard work to set strong boundaries and to move on from this connection. So we get, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah, and people. So um, I do feel your person may have some guilt or shame about um, how they treated you or how they left things. Um, remorse for not putting in more time and effort into this connection. Um, but Spirit's also telling you if, you know, if you're feeling guilty, just let it go. You need to focus on your harmony, your balance, protect your energy. And... Um, yeah, and see how things unfold, but trust that everything has happened for your highest and your greatest good. I, I definitely see that you have a new awareness here about this person. Your person is also, I do feel they're really nervous. They're trying to build up their strength and their courage to reach out to you. Again, maybe because they ghosted you or they never gave you a real reason as to why they were leaving. For some of you, like I said already, maybe third party. For others of you, it was just work. So trust your intuition. You came closer than anyone, so this could be somebody who's a, pet, a perpetual bachelor or bachelorette. If your person had other options, I feel like they didn't work out, and their heart and their mind always come back to you, Libra. Like, you are the one that came the closest. Maybe this person's hard to pin down. Um, I want you so badly, and you didn't see my tears. Yeah, so this person, Emperor Energy, didn't show a whole lot of emotion. You probably wouldn't have any idea. Look, I hide my feelings. Um, how, how much this person actually suffered in either letting you go or when you walked away, Libra. All right. So again, this person is definitely highly emotional over you. They have this strong desire. Um, they want to heal things. They want to come back in. So use your best judgment here about whether or not that's good for you. All right. We get leadership. So set your goals. So stay focused. A lot of you, you have been working really hard. And again, how would they know that? They're probably keeping tabs on you, Libra. They see you as this lioness, um, this empress energy. Um, they definitely recognize that they didn't give you what you totally deserved and raise your standards. But yeah, Libra, for a lot of you guys, it might be too little too late with this emperor in reverse that they were acting foolishly. Um, some of you, you may have moved on. Like I said, there may be a new beginning for you with that page of cups. Um, Spirit's definitely telling you to focus on the new energy here. Now, of course, people can transform and change. And so in readings, when we have double, you know, when we have two energies coming through really strong, I always feel like there's a potential for that past person to have gone through a deep transformation. But you have to use your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust what you know and how this person makes you feel and how they made you feel, okay? Because... As much as I, I, I am a champion of love and, and healing and giving people second chances, you know, we do often see that people don't change very easily. Okay. So trust your intuition. Um, all right. Let's see what final messages spirit has regarding this connection or the potential outcome of this connection. What else do my Libras need to hear spirit messages, please, for my Libras, clear messages and guidance regarding this connection. So we get obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So this person may not have done the inner healing work. So that's something that's going to be really important as to why are they coming forward? You know, are they expecting you to heal them? I know this person definitely loves you or 
you know, was very affected by whatever has happened in this connection, but they're also hesitant for a reason, okay? Um, integrity. So it's up to you, Libra. Does this situation align with your values and your morals? A lot of my Libras, you guys have worked hard to heal and to move forward. So it's so important that you protect this person that you've become, Libra. All right, and protected. Yeah, there we go. You're safe and divinely guided and everything happens for a reason. So we get some cryptic messages here from spirit. So again, it's going to be up to you guys, Libra. You're safe. You're divinely guided, you know, moving away from this person or finding out that they were dealing with somebody else or whatever, whatever has happened here. This does feel like it was helping you avoid disaster. So think long and hard before you make a decision here. Trust your intuition. Um, keep focusing on you. Um, you do have some sort of new love energy coming in, whether it's this person or, you know, it's a brand new person. But I do get a strong energy. Release the past, Libra, and focus on the new. All right? So I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Um, if these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, you guys, love and light.